Kraken slíbil, vypadá to hodně zajímavě. Poprvé jsem něco takového viděl, chvilku jsem to tady hrál, ta hra má vůbec úplně zvláštní mechaniku a já jsem tady vlastně teďka na interview s jedním z hlavních lidí z vývoje, aby jsme si povykládali o tom, o co vlastně jde a jakým způsobem uh, ta hra funguje. So, uh, hey, I'm from the Czech Republic, you're from Belarus, so I'm quite, I'm quite proud when I see someone from Eastern Europe to do the amazing games. So the first question from my side is about the game itself, because it's pretty new. To be honest, I, I, I saw it first time here. So could you please explain us basically about what this game is? Um, thank you. World of Tanks, uh, it's a free-to-play game, it's an MMO and it's an action MMO. Uh, I can say this is a Counter-Strike, but with tanks. This is the shortest way to give you the idea, like really fast. Um, but it's much more than just a Counter Strike. You take a tank, and you can have a lot of tanks in your garage. You level up them. You 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 get to new models. You unlock using your experience points new tank models, and you progress from like uh, a small tank the size of a tractor, and you end up with German mouse tank, which is 180 metric tons, and the size of like a decent house. Uh, you pick up a tank, uh, We're still giving out some free you replenish swag, ammunition, put some components into it, and you jump into a, a battle on a random map. Here, uh, there are two teams, 15 tanks against 15 tanks, and there are millions of players, apparently three million players playing this game. Today, uh, there are some good players. We, we, we have some of those like really hardcore players and they're well uh, coordinated inside their teams so if you want to be good at a higher level of you know championships clan wars you have to elaborate uh, quite a tactics for your team using uh, light medium heavy tanks super heavy tanks artillery and tank destroyers well, I mean, it sounds amazing. Three million players is really a lot. So uh, basically, I heard that this game has like two type of the accounts, just the normal account and the premium account. So could you please just explain what is the difference between these accounts, what the players are getting in case they're paying for the premium account? Premium account is like really simple. It costs approximately 10 United States dollars per month, or you can buy it like one day, like three days, I guess, and 10 days just to try it out. It gives you no advantage rather than leveling up boost in terms of experience. You just get 50% more experience and silver coin, coins which is uh, uh, World of Tanks internal currency with premium account, that's it. Oh, cool. So basically we're talking about the MMOs and the other stuff which is important in MMOs is how many characters you have. So in that case we're talking about the tanks. So how many tanks you have in a game? Uh, right now, I believe we have around 150 tanks, Soviet tanks, German tanks, and American tanks, right? But at the end of the day, we will, we will also soon add French tanks, British tanks, and Japanese tanks. So all in all, it will be around 400 tanks. Wow, that's really a lot. So basically, how many players can play a game if they're fighting against each other in the deathmatch or the capture the flag? How many guys can play in one game? How many players? Uh, 30 players is our current standard mode, mode uh, 15 versus 15. <clears throat> so we will later on experiment with smaller and bigger teams on smaller and bigger maps. But right now it's 15 versus 15, it's optimal for the time being. And how you are running the servers? Basically the servers are run by you and how many servers you have totally in Europe? If you have a European guys, US guys, I mean, do they have a special dedicated servers just for the regions? Uh, World of Tanks has the following servers. One is in Moscow, in Russia, serving naturally Russia and, uh, you know, the former Soviet Union. Uh, then there is one in Munich, in Germany, and it's very well connected to all of Europe, like Scandinavia, like Czech Republic, like Hungary, Bulgaria, France, Germany. So all the Euro European countries are playing on that Munich server, one. And there is one in America. Wow, this I think is pretty good infrastructure. So let's let's talk about some different stuff. I mean, I saw these big tanks here. I mean, these are really amazing, but it must be very difficult to bring them here to the US. Or basically, I'm not sure are they from Europe, but this is just from the US. Or is there any company who provide these tanks to you? Uh, you would be amazed, but those are private tanks from private collectors. So there are some people here in California, <coughs> which. Actually, some people collect, you know, stamps 
uh, I don't know, like uh, postcards or uh, refrigerator magnets. These guys collect tanks. Those are real tanks from World War II times, and they actually are operational, so they, they move by themselves. Wow, that looks really amazing. And the last question I always ask him when you have MMOs, so what is your favorite tank? I mean, the tank you like to play in the game, man. Uh, that would be German Panther II tank. It has never actually been built and it did never participate in real action. It's more of a secret project prototype blueprint. There were some probably experimental chassis and uh, like some, some pieces of machinery put together. But inside our game, it's a, it's a full-blown tank, which is the next version of the famous Panther tank. And man, it's cool. It's medium, it's fast, it's, it's medium category, so it's level 9. And it moves fast, it has like very precise long-range gun. Uh, and it has quite good armor, so you can just just jump into battle in the middle of the, of the fighting. And you have high chance of surviving. Cool. Thanks for the interview. It's an amazing game. I mean, I, I personally I have to try it by myself, and I'm sure after this interview, the many gamers basically from Eastern Europe will try in the Czech Republic to try again for sure, because if this is for free, I mean, it's an amazing model. So thanks a lot again. Thank you.